question from um, the Stichting Sociaal Economisch Overleg in the Achterhoek. Wow, <laughs> that's a foundation. Great. Um, they would like to ask you, how do you seduce citizens to sustainable actions in their living environment? And do you convince people to take those actions based on uh, uh, environmental considerations or self-interest? Self-interest is always a good place to start, right? But what you want to do is have them work in parallel. And so the whole uh, China dream about, about reframing the language is about how do you talk in the language of self-interest, we call it reimagining prosperity, right? Um, and, and then make sure that you're implicitly embedding sustainability. So we're the sustainability experts and we're cur curating this co-creation process of reimagining prosperity, but at the same time we're ensuring that the, the image doesn't include any Hummers. <laughs> right? Yeah. It, it, and in China it doesn't make sense to include villas or green lawns or, or, or you know, and so forth. It, it makes much more sense to have a bachelor pad in the sky, right, on top of a subway where you can easily access high-speed rail and you're buying luxury product, pro yeah, products, but they're lasting you yeah. for a generation or two. To change people's behaviors, you really need to focus on habits. But how do people develop habits in the first place? It's really through social norms. Yeah. It's what their families are doing, what their friends are doing, what their, you know, maybe their churches in China are doing, um, what their government tells them to do. You know, so what you need to do is change everybody's concept of what the China dream is. And all these different communities need to be speaking the same, well, talking about the same concept, but in their own way, in their own yeah. language, with their own visuals, with their own beat, with their own tempo, right? Their own personality. Yeah. And only when all of this happens at the same time will you create new social norms. <laughs>